everyone, this is Mary with Mama Bear Prepper. Welcome back for another video. If you're new here and you've been checking out my videos, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. I do all sorts of prepping videos, um, prepper pantry videos on how to stock up on your prepper pantry over time with a, with a budget if you're on a budget. Um, I do long-term food storage, I do gardening, all sorts of prepping videos. Go check out my videos, and if you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much for returning. I truly do appreciate it. Y'all, so for today's video, I want to talk about long-term food storage. Um, this is one method I am doing for long-term food storage. The other method being, you know, you make your own um, food buckets with mylar bags. And you can store your rice, beans, and pastas, and so forth in mylar bags with oxygen absorbers and into food grade buckets. That's one way, and that can last 20 plus years if done correctly. So y'all go up here. I'm going to link a card right up here, and you can come back in the video, or you can check down in the description and check out that card because that is my long-term food storage um, videos on me making those Mylar bags and food grade buckets with oxygen absorbers. Very useful information. Please go check it out. Um, that is some of my older videos. I am planning on making new ones very soon um, to add to that playlist of long-term food storage. Because y'all, it's something that I'm not. I'm not going to do once and done. It's something I'm constantly working on, and it's always in the back of my head to keep at it for my long-term food storage. It's very important to me. And I have that put away for emergencies. And emergencies can be anything from um, weather related to job loss, so forth. You know, um, if you get hurt and you can't work, you have something put away for those hard times. It doesn't have to be doom and gloom and the zombie apocalypse. Y'all, I love me some zombies. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but there's just... It doesn't have to be doom and gloom. Prep for things that you know can happen. Um, like I said, weather, hurricanes, tornadoes. Um, I live in a hurricane zone, so I prep for that. Um, job loss. Um, if you're injured and you can't go to work. Um, just all sorts of things. And also, with this pandemic going on, we had our COVID-19 pandemic. What if there's another one coming that we don't know about, just like how we didn't know about COVID-19. It, it just really took a big hit to all of us, you know, and took us by surprise. At least we will be prepped for any next pandemics that may happen. All right, getting a little off topic there, but I wanted to show you guys my long-term food storage in this kind of a method, which is buying it already made. Um, it's dehydrated and freeze-dried products. Um, I have Augustin Farms here in the Mountain House, Adventure Meals. Okay, so I got this from Amazon and Walmart. I don't have the Augustin Farms in my local Walmart like some people up north do, so I have to order that online. And every time I make a purchase, I get nervous because I don't want the cans to come to me dented. Um, some reviews say that they come to them dented. Me, I've never had a problem so far. They all came very well packaged and no dents. So I'm truly grateful for that. Um, the Mountain House Adventure Meals, I buy, the, I buy those at Walmart in the camping aisle. I am working on a good stockpile of those. Um, just slowly buying one every time I go to Walmart, if, if I can remember, that is. <laughs> um, yeah, these are like the more expensive type of things for me and, and my budget, okay? Like these Mountain House Adventure Meals, they go for about $9 for each each of these little packs. The Augustin Farms, um, those are different prices. What I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of the current prices for it on Amazon, and I'll insert it throughout this video as I go through each product. So like I have the Augustin Farms Butter Powder. I'll go ahead and insert the clip, the picture for that price right now. I have the Augustin Farms freeze-dried sliced strawberries. I will go ahead and insert the picture of the current price for that right now on Amazon. I 
I also have the Augustin Farms dried whole egg powder. I will go ahead and insert the picture of the current price for that right now on Amazon. And y'all, these last a very, very long time. Um, so far, I have not opened any and tried them. They are a little too pricey for me to be opening them and playing with them. I'm going to go ahead and take other people's word for it and all the reviews online that it is a good product because I just don't want to open it and waste it. And once it's open, you got to use it or repackage it. And I'm just not doing it. So these are great for emergencies like butter powder. That will help with cooking and baking. Sliced strawberries. That'd be a nice little treat to have. Um, especially during winter when you can't grow your own and they're just not grown. You have some freeze-dried sliced strawberries. And then the dried whole egg powder, another great one for baking. And if you just want some eggs and you'll have fresh eggs. All right, so I'm going to give you a closer look of the Augustin Farms butter powder. Uh, shelf life up to 10 years. I have it on the bottom here. Uh, it says February 31st, Best Buy date. Y'all, I write it bigger just in case if somebody doesn't have their glasses and can't see. It's a little bit bigger for them to make out, okay? And even though it says butter powder right here, I write it bigger just so people can read it. That's in my group that may, might not have glasses or lost their glasses or whatever it is in an emergency. They can have it in a little bit bigger writing to see it better, okay? Um, so this is the butter powder. It is two pounds, two pounds, four ounces, 204 servings. This is the back of it right here. Now I can pause this and read it if you would like. Okay, it gives you a recipe for an apple crumb cake. Um, Butter powder, Augustin Farms butter powder is ideal for any recipe that calls for butter and blends easily with other dry ingredients. Okay, here's something about the shelf life. Unopened product stays fresh for up to 10 years. Best when stored in a cool and dry place at temperatures between 55 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Actual shelf life, actual shelf life may vary based on individual storing storage conditions. All right, here is the nutrition facts. For one tablespoon, it's 35 calories, 30 milligrams of sodium, 16 milligrams of calcium, 22 milligrams of potassium. Gluten free. And this is the ingredients right here. Add to recipes calling for butter in soups, mashed potatoes, or sprinkle on popcorn or hot cooked vegetables. It tells you how to use it for using in place of butter when using in recipes to shape and spreadable. So it shows you how to use it for the different ways that needs to be used for butter. So that's the butter powder, and I also write it on top, y'all, because <laughs> just in case if I have that person in the group that doesn't look around for it, it's on top. So when they go open it, it's going to be like, bam, in their face, you know, Best Buy February 2031, and that it is butter powder. comes with a lid, so um, once you do open it, you can have a lid for it. All right, so that's the butter powder. The egg powder, this one I'll just quickly go through. You can pause it if you would like to um, 72 servings. You can pause it if you need to read it. Shelf life up to 10 years, just add water. This is the nutrition facts. Um, this tells you the yield, so if you want two eggs, then you need one-third cup of this powder and mix it with one-third cup of warm water. The directions, 
It can be used in baking and cooking. For example, great for use in omelets, French toast, bread muffins, bread, muffins, cookies, cakes, and more. So y'all, this is a really good product to have in your prepper pantry, especially when you don't have your own chickens that will be laying fresh eggs for you and you can't go to the store to buy any, at least you have egg powder. And this one's expiration date is July 2030. This is the freeze-dried strawberries. Shelf life up to 30 years for this one. Just add water, 18 servings. All right, the nutrition facts. And enjoy as a snack right out of the can to, or rehydrate to add to your favorite fruit salad, smoothie, trail mix, cereal, yogurt, muffins, desserts, and more. Tells you how to rehydrate. There's a strawberry jam recipe. And the expiration date for this one, y'all, is June 2050. That's like 29 years away. 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, 29 years away, y'all. Very long shelf life, okay? So I have those. And I'm slowly build. Like My thing is, what I'm trying to do to build this up is every time I get on Amazon to order something, like if I'm going on there to order a book, or whatever I'm and I can and if I can remember I'm going to add one of these to my cart and usually they're on sale um so I try to get these whenever they're on sale too and I can just think about it and look for it online when I'm ordering something else and like I think if you order like over $25 you get free shipping so that's always good too because I don't have that Amazon Prime I'm really not ordering on Amazon all that much so okay also, the Mountain House Adventure Meals. Let me show you the flavors I got. There's more flavors in this. I'm, like I said, I just don't have it all. I'm slowly building this up and working on it. This is the Chili Mac with Beef. Um, spicy sauce with macaroni, beef and beans, freeze-dried. No artificial preservatives, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. So, that's really good. There's two servings in here. 3.8 ounces, just add water, ready in 10 minutes, no extra cleanup, 12 grams of protein. So these are really great to have in emergencies or just to put in your hiking bag when you go hiking. This is the nutrition facts for this one. And this is how you make it. And y'all, it says best by October 2050. Very long expiration date. So I have that one. I have the beef stroganoff with noodles and savory cream sauce with mushrooms and onions. Okay. I have the chicken teriyaki with rice, green peas, carrots, peppers, and onions. Y'all, it's like a whole meal in here. I can't wait to try one. Um, I do have a series called SHTF Meals. And Probably in the next one or two, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these and try it for my SHTF meal playlist. It's a series I have here on my um, YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and link that series right up here. It's, it'll be like called SHTF meals or cooking with your prepper pantry items. I'm going to link that right up here if you want to go ahead and click on that and check it out. Or you can um, wait till the video is done and click the link in the description down below. You can find that playlist there. So I have the chicken fried rice, the breakfast skillet. This has shredded potatoes and scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage, peppers, and onions. Biscuits and gravy, buttermilk biscuits with gravy and pork sausage. Can't wait to try these, y'all. Then I have a spicy Southwest style skillet. 
This has potatoes, shredded beef, black beans, and green chilies, and vegetables. Best Buy, December 2050. They're all 2050 for those Mountain House Adventure Meals. So that's what I have so far regarding this type of long-term food storage. Um, like I said, I'm just slowly, slowly getting them one by one. <laughs> I have not tried any of the Augustine Farms yet. Like I said, that's a little too pricey in my budget to be opening them up and trying all of them. I'm just going to take people's word for it online in their reviews that they that it is in fact a good product. And y'all, in an SHTF situation, and you're really, really hungry and you haven't had a good meal in days, you will eat anything. So one way or another, this stuff will be used. I'm not going to worry much about that. Um, for the Mountain House Adventure Meals, like I said, I get those at Walmart. I'll get like one or two every trip or every other trip to Walmart. Um, those are like $9 a piece around that price range. Um, I have not tried those yet. I'm going to try one very soon in a SHTF meal um, video I'm going to do soon in that series. Like I said, the card will be up here or in the description down below. Um, so look for that. Check out those videos. Um, check out my videos on me making my own food buckets, my own long-term food storage buckets. That includes me putting away rice, pastas, and beans, and so forth, and mylar bags, and like flour, and sugar, and salt, all that stuff into mylar bags with an oxygen absorber, and putting those into food grade buckets. I have a couple of videos of those. I do plan on doing more because that is something I'm always working on, and honestly, I haven't done one in, a, in quite a while, so I need to get back to it because I have a goal of having so many of those and I need to, I, I need to get to it, okay? I need to start doing that again. Um, I kind of strayed away from doing those for a while, but once I start doing that, I will record it and make videos for that playlist. Um, so check out that, that will be in the description down below also, that playlist. And like I said, um, go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed, because I noticed on my YouTube analytics, I have more, of a percentage of people that's not subscribed that watch my channel than the people that are subscribed. I mean, it's still a lot of people that are subscribed to me that watch my videos, don't get me wrong, but even more so that is not subscribed. So if you have made it this far in this video, you guys, please go ahead and subscribe so you're notified of any other videos and to show your support because I really appreciate it, y'all. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I am almost there. So please, Subscribe, like, comment, and share, y'all. Help this channel out if you've made it this far and you like my videos. All right, so this was a very plain and simple video. I just had a few items to show you guys. Check those out. I do have an Amazon affiliate account. I will link down below if you want to check them out. Anything purchased through that affiliate link, y'all, I do earn a very small commission from but at no additional cost from you, okay? So that's just a way, if you wanna support my channel, that's one way you can do it. I greatly appreciate everything that um, you guys purchased through those affiliate links of mine. And like I said, just for a disclaimer, I do earn a very small commission from that, but at no extra cost from you. So I appreciate the ones that do buy things from those affiliate links. And even if you click on that link and you don't buy that item and you buy something else, I still do get a very small commission from whatever you buy. So for I had several people so far buy items um, that I link through that my description down below and also items that I have not linked and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, y'all. Those small amounts really do add up. So I, I just wanna say thank you. Um, all right, y'all. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Today is Friday when I'm filming this. I hope I can get this up to you maybe Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. I'm going to try to edit this and get it up ASAP. All right, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take care and keep on prepping, y'all. Even if you think you have enough, go back, reevaluate your preps. Um, take inventory and see where you need to go from there. All right, y'all, I've talked long enough. I'm sorry. I can stay on here all day and talk your heads off. 
when I'm in that talking mood. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Take care.